have much more dangerous forms of guns yes. that are going to be more widely available as you continue to crack down on this. Yeah, and as far as we're talking about prohibition, go talk to a high school senior. It's easier for them to get some illegal drugs than it is to get a can of beer. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. That's the whole point. So if we can learn anything from this, can't we learn that uh, prohibition is going to backfire on us? And that's what the, the people who are pushing for gun control need to understand that. They also need to understand that if you're going to support a process by which uh, we have these agencies do whatever they wish, where the president can do whatever he wishes as a dictator, there's going to be somebody coming along eventually that you're not going to be happy with. And unfortunately, that's one of the reasons why the, the opposition party never shuts this down. The Democrats don't shut down uh, a Republican when he makes uh, bad executive orders, and the Republicans don't shut down Obama because they want that power themselves. And that ought, to, that ought to scare you more than the idea that your neighbor has a gun. That really ought to scare you a lot more than that. Absolutely. Now let's play the, uh, the next clip. Let's go to clip number one, guys. And this is Obama saying anyone in the business of selling firearms must get a license and perform a background check. Now, this troubles me, David, because just as uh, Kit was saying today when he was talking to Alex, that means if I sold you a firearm, you know, I, am I a licensed dealer? No, but I have the right as a United States citizen to sell you a firearm without any type of background check or having a license. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Joe Biggs here with InfoWars.com. Now we're live from the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge just outside of Burns, Oregon. Now in Burns, there's actually quite a blizzard going on, and we're starting to get that snow over here now. You can barely even see the roads, so today should be interesting, seeing as the fact that The Guardian is reporting that the FBI came out, federal agents said that they will be cutting off the power, and they will also be cutting off cell phone reception and then setting up a blockade, not letting any of them come in or out to uh, resupply, to contact the outside world. And one of the quotes in The Guardian from a federal agent in Washington said they want to let them sit there for a long time and think about what it is they've done. That's right. And, and what smart advisors there are that have maneuvered the Bundys into this. Good friends. Yeah, there's definitely a, a chance that there could be some opposition that's uh, inside uh, infiltrated that to kind of go against Bundy. You know, I've had some people, some friends who uh, work in special ops, some guys who are in the military for a long time, they actually have friends on the inside that said that there are snipers set up in positions. We do know that there's drones flying over. And uh, one of the quotes that I was given was that they want to take out the Bundy brothers. They don't like what they're doing. They don't like they're sparking up a revolution, getting people uh, uh, 
amassed and ready to come out here and stand up against the government. So they all are at a point where they are done with the Bundy brothers from what I've heard. So it's going to be an interesting day to say the least, especially if they cut off the power, the cell phone reception, and then set up a blockade to cut off the resupply route. Well, all I know is the globalists and people involved better watch their butts because the feds always burn their informants and their minions afterwards. And this is a big well, nasty coming down. One of the one of the worst things that could happen, though, is if they actually were to, to try to do something, all that's going to do is make uh, the Bundys a martyr. And then you're going to see a large group of people across this country stand up, rise up, and you're going to see a lot more of these standoffs happen. Which so is exactly, he, 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 here's my issue. Tell me if you agree or disagree. The Bundys are great people. I get their point. The feds are out of control. It's wrong. It's a June yep. 21. The locals don't want them. The Hammonds don't want it. And that's why this dog doesn't hunt. This isn't their land, their grazing rights. It doesn't have the same optics. And this is perfect timing for Obama. Why have the Bundys been out there for months off and on? And now all this breaks loose right when Obama rolls out his offensive against the Patriots. I mean, come on, people. This this is really smells. Yeah, it's definitely interesting how this is all played out. And it will be interesting to see how this unfolds over the next 24 hours, especially when they're expecting more snow to uh, fall, temperatures to drop, to see how this uh, happens. Now, today we went out and investigated uh, reports that there were uh, FBI uh, federal agents amassing at schools across the Burns area. We weren't able to find any, but I have been noticing a lot of the militiamen with binoculars starting to look out across the land to different areas. So maybe they've seen some movement out here in these hills. Maybe the FBI left early this morning and already have uh, certain spots set up and they've got their eyes on this area for when they do shut the power to see how the militia and the Bundys react. Well, this is just a giant extravaganza for the establishment with the wrong optics. I mean, I couldn't pick a worse place for this to be going down in a worse time. But uh, that said, it's a free country. Folks can do what they want, can't they? Uh, and uh, I'm just going to continue trying to warn folks that we have an executive branch power grab outside of law to register guns, not let you transfer guns, to let psychologists take guns whenever they want, to, uh, to take Social Security recipients' guns. I mean, this is in Politico. They're now, and, and to now say if you criticize the government, your guns can be taken. I mean, this is worse than I thought. Joe, well, and the, interesting then you got, thing, the, the interesting thing is what happened in Waco with the Davidians when the FBI did roll in and they shut off the power. Is this going to happen again? Are they going to have another assault like that here at the refuge? And by the way, the RNC head has denounced Obama gun control executive actions as dangerous power grabs. So finally, that narrative just the last few hours is getting out there. That's bigger than the seven gun grabs they're announcing and the three big ones is that the president can't shut our power plants off because he felt like it when he was on his prayer rug in the morning. Uh, the president can't just take our guns because he found it in the toilet, you know, and decided it was a royal scroll or something. Uh, the president is not God. And, uh, you know, him and all his degenerate supporters think they're about to have some great war. And, I mean, my God, the, the George Soros people saying these are white terrorists and y'all Qaeda and all this. I mean, they are really just spoiling. I mean, absolutely last night I had spoiling an for a war. Last night I had an opportunity to actually go down here to where the, uh, the federal facilities are. There's about seven or eight buildings down there. Joe Biggs reporting for InfoWars.com. Now, we just arrived in Oregon. We've come here to investigate the reports of armed militiamen overthrowing a federal government building here at the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge right outside of Burns, Oregon. Now, there have been reports that they have taken this building. They're using it as a place to protest against the U.S. government who time and time again have overstepped their boundaries, taking up people's lands. It's not just happening in Nevada. It's not just happening in Oregon. It's happening back home where I live in Texas as well. This is a huge issue. It's a huge problem. So this is why we decided to come out here. We want to find out if it's really as bad at this federal building as they're making it out to be, or is our government using this as another way to push gun control? As you can see, we're down here in the actual compound area, the uh, federal building where the uh, militia have taken over and they're staying against the tyrannical government. As you can see, they're not destroying anything. They're actually taking care of the land 
and preparing it and making sure it looks good. They're not out here uh, destroying property. They're not out here messing with vehicles. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, government vehicles that are sitting here. They've been left untouched, unharmed, and uh, the place actually looks pretty good. So that is what's going on inside of the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge here in Oregon. Guys out here putting in some hard work and doing what they can. And what they say they're trying to do is give this land back to the people. You don't see any gunfire. You don't see any buildings burning down. It's not a peaceful protest like they said was in Ferguson. It's not like a peaceful protest that happened in Baltimore. This is actually, by the book, peaceful. There's nothing going on, nothing crazy. No shots fired, no people screaming, no one running for their lives inside of the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge. And now we we're here to talk to some of the people who have actually driven up from California in support of what's going on. So tell me your name, sir. John Ferreira. And Daniel Ferreira. And uh, why have you gentlemen come up here? Uh, we came up here to support this effort here. We came, we're ranchers in Northern California and the federal government is doing a land grab here. They're doing a land grab in Northern California. And so we're here to support them, to help them. To, hopefully they do it right and hopefully it, it makes a difference here in this county. Now, based on being here now, it's nothing like what you probably thought it was based off the mainstream media, right? Like, uh, you know, firefights and flames and buildings burning down in a hostage situation with a federal building overthrow. It's nothing like that at all. It's a lot more peaceful, and there's people out here really just trying to make a stand against the federal government. That's exactly what's going on. It's uh, the people down there, they're, they're just people. They're trying to make a living. They're trying to work. They're trying to do something that's really difficult, and that's to be a rancher. To be a rancher is real hard to make a living, and they've been under the gun for a lot of years. Uh, my father was under the gun for a lot of years. This, this thing is pretty difficult to make work, yes. Now, have you guys come in contact with BLM? Have they ever messed with you guys or maybe some neighbors you have? Yes, BLM has been an issue. BLM has a mindset of power and authority, and they're going to do it their way, and if you don't like it, if you step on their feet, they don't like it at all. So do you uh, fully support what they've done here? Do you, do, you, do you think that coming out here, grabbing this building, making a sand is a good idea? Do you think it could have been done a different way in your opinion? Uh, well, I think that taking the building is a great thing. Making a stand is a great thing. I think it's going to take really good leadership. I think that that's what's going to have to take place. Somebody's going to have to stand up, make the calls. The feds have taken land little bit by little bit. Uh, they want to do, they want to take this land back, which, which they should, that's this is what they should do, but they need to have a plan, stick to that plan, they need to have the fortitude, they need to have the clout behind them. If people don't rally behind them and have good leadership, this won't happen. The, the trouble is that the federal government has gone so far, people are going to get hurt. And I hate to say that, I'm a pastor, I've been a Christian for a lot of years, people, Christians need to stand up, not be passive and say enough's enough, our rights are being taken. Or I should say we're given our rights up more than our rights are being taken. All right, well, what do you have? Do you have anything to add about uh, the situation unfolding? Uh, do you wanna get? You want to see more people coming out here in support of this? Oh yeah, more people would be great. Uh, one thing is they're not terrorists. We're not terrorists, we're Americans, and we wanna, we wanna fix this country. Well, that's it for the show tonight. If you're watching us on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And you can also, for a limited time, get six months of PrisonPlanet.tv free when you subscribe for a yearly membership. And we certainly appreciate it. We'll see you here again tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients, that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced.
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.